five, four, three. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Richard's Nature Walk. This is the first segment of my nature walks. And with me today, manning the camera, is my trusted friend and cameraman slash photojournalist, Chris Tunenpeg. Last name? Forsyth. Forsyth. All right. And we're going to go on a nature walk today, kids. We are deep in the forest, the pine forest in Northern California. Nature abounds out here. It's incredible, incredible. So, kids, let's get started. Now, wait, I forgot. Another reason I have Chris with me today is cougars are indigenous to this area. Chris has confronted a cougar before. He whipped out spray bottle full of water, sprayed it a couple of times, bam, it was gone. We all know cats hate water. Chris, you got your spray bottle with you? Crap, I left it back at the Ramada. Okay, so, people at home, if the camera hits the ground, you hear some horrible screams and footsteps running away, it's me, running away for help. I want you people at home, drop what you're doing, run. I don't want any more casualties than necessary, okay? Just, I'll be going for help, all righty? Let's get started. things I'm going to be searching for here is another indigenous species, the wild pine cone. We are in a pine forest after all. Wild pine cones is what I'm going to find. You could take a while. Old critters are elusive. Wait a minute. Right there. You, get, you got a shot of that pine cone right there? Right here. It looks like it's dormant. It's not. I brought with me some dental floss. It's another forest trick that I've learned. You take this dental floss, gently lay it over the pine cone, smooths it right out, kind of puts it into a semi-coma where you can handle it. So this can come in, this, this. that should have done it. All right, I should be able to handle this pine cone with ease. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Ah, it's a beauty, too. Let me check it out here. I can do pretty much anything I want to with this now because it's comatose. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a female. It's a female pine cone. These are kind of hard to find. The males run amok. Females kind of tuck themselves away and do whatever. But it's, you can see how easy it is to handle it. You know? See what happens if I take this away. See, see if it comes awake on me. Ah, oh, feel it. Damn it! Whoa! It bit me! Man! You all right, man? Mm. Ah. No more pine cones. We'll move on to something else, kids.
Richard, do you see that? What? Right over there, against the tree. Where? Right there. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it, Chris. What are you looking at? It's it's right there. It's. Oh, never mind. I'm still not seeing it. Let's, let's move on. This is tough going up here. This is like almost what? What would you call this? Five percent grade? I'll give it a five. I'll give it a five. Okay. This is hiking. I'm already out of breath. Whoa! This is what we got here. Another part of nature. I want you to notice the smooth cut here. This is a surefire sign of beavers. 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 You notice the exact cut. Clean cut. You gotta remember, we are in Northern California. California. Cutting edge. Silicon Valley. Beavers have the latest technology. Laser cut. Laser cut. Right there, buddy. Smooth. They whack that puppy down with a laser. 30 seconds. Tops. Down. That's beauty. That's a beaut right there, buddy. Got a nature. You gotta love nature. Love it. Wait a minute. Ah, got some sticky crap all over. Man. Okay. Nature. Let's move on, kid. It's not easy going. Look, look at all that stuff I'm having to walk over. Right there, charred piece of wood. That is ancient wood. That's been there for thousands of years. Wow. Indians. Indians tried to start a campfire right there. Didn't work. Charred the wood. Gave up. Moved on. Just as we are. Moving on, people. We got a about this. See this tree? Yes, I am a tree hugger. You got a problem with that? You can kiss my... Family, family oriented, sorry. You gotta keep that rating down. Okay. You'll notice, up there, we have rocks with moss. What does that tell you? It tells me bacteria. You gotta watch out for those. You don't want to go around though. You get that bacteria on you, take that back to the city. It spreads through the city. <sighs> Next thing you know, pandemonium. Well, stay away from that. Just stay away from that. Get right up here near that light so you can see any better. I'm standing in a pile of dead branches, which in a forest, especially a pine forest, this is catastrophe waiting to happen. This right here, one little spark, this whole place is charred. So I'm gonna report back to the ranger station and let them know this is here. See if we can't get this cleaned up to save this beautiful forest. Now, I think I've gone far enough. If I get much deeper into this, you didn't uh, happen to remember to drop the rose petals behind you to, so we can find our way back? I got you, we're covered. Okay. Kids, we enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed Richard's Nature Walk. This is the first segment. We were continuing this series and, wait, I think, I think my foot's caught there. Right there, Chris. Right there. Wait a minute. Here, here. Here, give me a hand. Here, give me a hand. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Your foot's caught. <clears throat> yeah. right. hey, wait. Let me push you. I'm going to push you back. 
Okay, there you go. You free? And I'm free. Okay. All right, people. I enjoyed it. I loved it. I hope to see you again soon. And remember, folks at home, don't try this at home. I've been doing this for years and years with my trusted friend, Chris Tuning Peg. Foresight. Foresight. There we go. Did you hear that? Hear how sound travels in the forest? That could be something for my next segment that we could work on. So kids, so long. I love you. Hope to see you again soon. Peace.